trying to get in here just for the sole purpose that I want to take a, a picture and get on the news tonight. That'll work, right? Do you ever see that? Yeah. So come on up as close as you can just to get into the picture, okay? Just want to just want to make sure I get everybody's face in the news tonight. Last chance. All right, here we go. Wow, that, that worked quickly, didn't it? Come on, everybody in. Are you guys ready? No, 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 okay. Everybody ready? All right. On the count of three, say cheese. One, two, three. Cheese! Awesome. All right. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me back for a second year in a row. I was honored to be asked last year. I'm honored to be asked this year, and it's wonderful to be here with all of you. By the way, just in case you didn't know or if you weren't here last year, this is double the size of the crowd we had last year. Like, exactly double. And next year, we'll double that, and it will keep growing every single year. I'm Phil Lipoff from Channel 5. I anchor the 5 o'clock news, and today we are walking in support of 10,000 patients each year suffering from leukemia, lymphoma, and other blood diseases whose only hope for a cure is a bone marrow or blood stem cell transplant. Gift of Life's cause, and by extension this event, are great importance to us all who have been touched by this mission. And for two special people in our audience today, this marks a very long-awaited day. It's because of the incredible mission of the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation that we're here today and that we'll be celebrating its 25th anniversary this coming June. Gift of Life has no doubt touched everybody who is here, whether you are a donor, a recipient, a caregiver, a volunteer, a supporter of the foundation, or someone like me who in 1999 got swabbed and then 12, 13 years later got a call saying I was a match for a woman out in Texas got ready to do it, the, the, the whole procedure, and then they said, we found a woman who was just a little bit better of a match than you. Uh, the night before I was supposed to do that, but that whole experience, wrapping my head around possibly helping a perfect stranger, got me involved in, in this organization and will be for the rest of my life. Uh, in turn, the humble effort became a nationwide and somewhat even global campaign. And we're talking about um, the, per the perseverance of two loving parents and countless family members that set up to find a match for a young leukemia patient. This is uh, back in 1991, in need of a bone marrow transplant. That effort became sort of a nationwide event and finally was able to find a match to receive a life-saving transplant. Recently, this person I'm talking about celebrated his 20th transplant anniversary with more, many, many, many more to come. So I'm proud to welcome to the stage right now transplant recipient, founder, and CEO of the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Foundation, Mr. Jay Feinberg. Thank you, Phil, for uh, coming here again for uh, the second year in the row. And thank you all for joining us on this morning here in Boston. This is an incredible crowd, absolutely incredible. It's so nice to see you all here. So as Phil mentioned, Gift of Life started with the initial search for my bone marrow donor back when the bone marrow registry was virtually non-existent. Through those grassroots drives, my family and friends recruited tens of thousands of donors to the database, saving hundreds of lives, including ultimately my own. The fact that my heroic bone marrow donor cared enough to save the life of a total stranger is the very reason why I'm passionate about our cause and spend my time determined to pay it forward. Next month, Gift of Life will celebrate 25 years of saving lives, and we have every intention to persevere until all patients needing a donor for a transplant find one. To date, as a global community, we have facilitated over one million transplants for patients battling blood cancer. And while we all celebrate this incredible success, we must nonetheless redouble our efforts because the fact is that half the patients who can benefit from a transplant never receive one. They simply can't find that match in time. Given that a child or adult is diagnosed with blood cancer every three minutes, 
We certainly have our hands full, but together we will rise to the challenge. Events like Gift of Life's Walk for Life in cities across America raise awareness and much needed funds to grow the registry. And as you know, our mission is to cure blood cancer through marrow and stem cell donation. But we do that one patient at a time, thanks to the kindness and generosity of people like you. Now, for those of you who attended last year's walk, your experience, you experienced the fruits of your hard work and support firsthand when you had the opportunity to witness the heartwarming moment when a little boy by the name of James met Kayla, his hero, an extraordinary young woman who saved his life. For those of you new to the walk, you will have an opportunity to witness a similar moment today. But Gift of Life can't make matches like this happen alone. We need the support of people like you and of corporate America. After experiencing Gift of Life's mission in action, the McKesson Corporation stepped up to the plate and embraced our mission and subsequently gave their employees the extraordinary opportunity to become lifesavers themselves by sponsoring thousands of them to get swabbed at their offices across the nation. As a transplant recipient, it's my deepest desire that many more corporations will follow in McKesson's footsteps and their leadership role in saving lives of patients with blood cancer. And so it's without, with, without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to welcome McKesson's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. John Hammergren, to the podium. Thank you, Jay. I, uh, I also want to thank all of you for participating today. Clearly, this is a, a very worthy cause. And Jay, congratulations on the organization you founded and your ability to help over a million people through this registry. It's just a huge thing. So this guy sacrificed his life because he was given a life. Give him another round of applause, please. So we're, we're proud to be here with all of you, and clearly I want to thank all of the McKesson employees and my entire family that's also here uh, for attending today. And all of you, I know some of you came a long distance, and even those of you that didn't come a long distance took a long time to find a place to park. So for that, uh, we're, we're forever grateful. For those, of, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with McKesson, as Jay mentioned, we worked hard this year to try to get our employees to participate. And I have to tell you, uh, they always come through. Not only do we give back to the communities in which we serve and have offices, but we also give to special causes, in particular cancer. And as Jay mentioned, we swabbed over 2,100 people uh, throughout our McKesson family of offices just here in the United States alone, which is a, a big thing to do, and I'm really proud of our team. Congratulations, you guys. Obviously, they're also donating their time and their any energy and their, and their effort uh, behind this, this worthy cause. McKesson treats over 800,000 cancer patients every year in our cancer clinics across this country. We're proud to make a big impact. We not only provided $100,000 to help sponsor this event and other events like it, but we give uh, nearly $2 million a year to cancer care through our charities and our foundations. So I'm proud of what the McKesson team has, has delivered. But I can't tell you how proud I am of my youngest daughter, uh, Kayla, and her efforts to, uh, and sometimes in argument with me, go through with this process of donating her bone marrow to save little James's life. So it's without uh, uh, anything other than tremendous proudness and pleasure that I'm able to introduce my daughter Kayla and James Straits to the stage. Well, thank you, Dad. Ooh, that was louder than I was anticipating. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Um, thank you all for being here. This is an incredible turnout. We're so excited uh, to have so many of you here with us today. Um, so it's really an honor for me to be here to be standing before you today with little James, who's excited to, <laughs> to be up on stage and to get ready to run the, uh, sorry, the superhero sprint. It sounds really loud to me. Um, sorry, everyone. <laughs> So my life has really forever changed because of this experience um, from the initial call when I was informed that I was a potential match all the way to actually donating to meeting James at this event last year. Um, it's all just been a little bit overwhelming but very exciting. So at this point in time, I am privileged to ask recipients, I'm sorry in advance if I mispronounce your name, 
Um, recipients Hazel, Hazel Poff, uh, Anita Cutler, Paulette Deary, Brian Wilson, Alan White, and all recipients that I haven't called, can you please join us on stage? Um, if donors Nick Hudson, Siri Basak, Ari Baranofsky, Jared Stein, Alec Burke, and all donors' names that I haven't called, will you please join us as well? And Cam, we believe you are here as well. If you could come up with Nick, that would be fantastic. I can't see you right now. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Always together, the uh, ever popular duo. <laughs> so as a donor, it was because of the generosity of others that my swab cheek kit was paid for and sent to the lab. Today's donor, Derek, had his cheek swab test sponsored by the family of a child named Ezra. Ezra's search for a match began in 2010 at the age of three, and his search resulted in 7,500 new donors added to the registry. To date, these donors have facilitated 31 transplants, with today's pair being one of them. Our donor is 28-year-old Derek, originally swabbed on a birthright trip in the summer of 2011. It wasn't until two years ago when he was called to be a match. Derek never questioned it for a second, and according to him, when duty calls, feeling took over, and his words, I get to save someone's life, what an experience. I would now like to invite to the stage donor Derek Cohen. Derek, you've given your recipient this incredible gift. In turn, I would like to give you a letter by your kit sponsor, Team Ezra. And at this point in time, I'm not sure where the letter is. We will get to you. Uh, <laughs> Team Ezra wants to congratulate you on this special occasion. Unfortunately, they couldn't be here for the event, but would like you to read this letter when you have a moment. Just like this letter, you've written your own letter to your recipient, Barry, with a few tips on how to care for his new cells. So here goes. First, give these blood cells new experiences, especially ones outdoors. And second, these cells need to meet new people and to be surrounded by great friends and loved ones. Your recipient, Barry, has been doing just that and looks forward to doing such, so much more. Your gift of life has done so much for Barry who recently celebrated his 32nd wedding anniversary to his devoted wife, Diane, who is here with him today. Barry expects to be fully restored to good health and hopes that some of your useful strength, energy, and idealistic enthusiasm comes his way. I would like to now introduce you to Barry Martineau. Okay, so this is the second annual event. Last year we were able to have 
sort of facilitate a mini conversation between the donor and the recipient, we'd like to do that again this year. Um, instead of asking some questions, which I'm used to doing, uh, I'll just hand the mic over and maybe you two would like to say something to each other for everybody to hear. Um, well, first of all, I would like to really, everyone give a round of applause for the Gift of Life people who work really hard. There's a staff of, I understand, 40 of them total. That's in the main office in Florida and throughout the rest of the country. That's pretty small for what they accomplish. And there's a lot of volunteers just out here working for free. Um, and none of this is possible without them. Um, it says I'm a hero on this shirt. And I hear that a lot. And it's really not how it is in my head. I'll take it. That's a cool compliment. <laughs> And uh, I, the, the 500 Facebook likes when I just say one thing about this, that's cool too. Um, but really, I don't think of myself that way. It's, these coordinators worked really hard. Um, the surgeons nailed it. The nurses did everything right. And Barry here braved through everything, um, which was a really long ordeal that I guess I'm going to learn more about. So I, I'm not really the hero. I'm just a guy who had the right biology and just returned a phone call one time. So that's what I'd like to say to start off with. Thank you. He's a hero to me. Uh, people at uh, young men your age and that would take the time to care. And the effort doesn't seem like much at the time, but in reality, I shouldn't be standing before you today. I'm looking forward to a life being fulfilled and vital and serving others. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you both. It really is a spectacular thing to witness, complete strangers coming together, one who has selfish selfless selflessly uh given to someone else it, it, and everybody here is touched from the mckesson folks who went out and got tested and now it is you can tell your friends it is just a swab of the cheek back when i did it and when many of you did it it was a needle and that's a whole different thing it's a swab of the cheek and it is that easy please rise now if you will for no, performance of the national anthem by shannon rubin Beautiful, Shannon, thank you very much. Before we kick off the Superhero Sprint, which is happening any second now, I want to take a moment to thank this year's Boston Walk for Life Committee. Their time and dedication is invaluable, and their hard work makes this event so successful. So please join me in a round of applause for them. All right, looks like everybody's ready to go. It is a chillier morning this year than last. so. Let's get everybody over there. We invite all the children to the start line to lead the kids superhero sprint. And then Derek and Barry, you'll come up with me and we'll lead the 5K. So please follow us up to the start line. 